Yes! What's up, everybody? Let me just turn this down quickly. Oh, it turned it up. What up? What up? What up? Hi, Jessica. Hi. We're gonna put you guys down here for a sec. Guys, we got YouTube. Oh man, it's bright over here. Bright wow. AF. Just stay back. So, what are we doing here on another YouTube Live? Well, people, we need to talk. Today's a big day here in Live Lean TV headquarters. We have launched a brand new program. Calvin Lou says, my birthday was yesterday. Calvin Lou. Happy birthday. Bicep pump to you for your birthday. Um, guys, we have launched a new program, but before we talk about that, we want to talk about what, what, what did we name this video? Why you'll never be satisfied or just thought you won't be satisfied unless you focus on this really important fundamental of living lean that is often overlooked. Yeah, compassion, car caramel, how you doing? So we want to talk about muscle building today, guys. So if you have questions on muscle building, um, start posting them and we can maybe remember them when we see them pop up. Um, so Owen says, I love your videos. Thank you. Thanks. Um, so a lot of people get this, uh, they misunderstand when we say living lean. They think, oh, it's just about being low calorie, skinny, yeah. <laughs> low yeah. calorie, losing weight. Focusing on weight loss when, specifically. Yeah. So when, many people focus on the scale number going down. When the role and the goal of living lean is to not just be skinny and thin and energyless and weak and non-athletic, the goal of living lean is to be full of energy to have low body fat, to have lean muscle, to be able to move your body and to feel freaking awesome. So that's what, so what you see us do and the energy that we have and the physiques that we have and the lifestyle that we have, that's what Living Lean is all about. That's what we wanna get you guys. We're bringing you along for the journey. So with that said, we gotta get you guys focused on building muscle. Right. And especially, you should talk about this as well. I get a lot of questions from females asking, you know, I'm scared to lift weights. I'm scared to focus on building muscle because I don't want to get bulky. What do you say to that? Um, I Okay, so I don't know. I hope that you guys feel like you know me because you've watched me on this channel. And so hopefully, like, I can be at least that one person you know who lifts heavy weights and does a lot of strength training and doesn't look like a dude. So I'm just hoping that I can lead by example and show you guys that if lifting weights isn't going to make me bulky, then it's not going to make you bulky either. And getting strong was fundamental to me getting lean in a sustainable way because I've been lean in unsustainable ways too in the past. And that like before I met Brad, before I came on this channel, I was the same way. I was very confused about what getting lean meant and like what living lean, like I didn't even think of the concept of like living lean. I didn't think that it was something sustainable that you could do for your whole life. I just thought it was like a temporary, like summertime thing. And then in the winter mm -hmm. you bulk again, but trust me, it really is possible for you to be lean sustainably. Yeah. And so the key to be able to do that, that many people overlook is that they just try to lose weight and they think that that's sustainable by just losing weight, but that's not sustainable guys. The key to improving your metabolism to have a healthy and a fast metabolism is lean muscle. Mm -hmm. Lean muscle tissue is the key metabolic driver to burn calories while you're at rest, while you're just sitting here, while you're watching right. this YouTube video. I'm burning more calories than the dude, I'm 175 pounds, so I'm burning more calories at 175 pounds than another dude who's at 190 but has like 20% body fat because I have more lean muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. So that's the key to being lean all year round. It's not that I'm doing cardio uh, three hours a day to maintain a lean physique, it's that I'm focusing on building muscle. Right. And I think when you change your focus over to getting strong, you naturally get lean easier than if you're yeah. only focused on burning calories and like, uh, you know, dieting all the time, because I drove myself crazy trying to do that, you know, like every single day trying to eat as little as possible and do as much activity as possible. You will drive yourself into the ground. So I just see a comment here too. Someone just said making 175 look big. And that's, oh. <laughs> no, but that, that's the thing is that a lot of people, when they see me, they probably think I weigh more than 175, but that's yeah. because I have lean muscle with low body fat. So the low body fat, I think in particular makes you look more muscular and bigger than you yeah. would if you had a higher body fat percentage, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like, like all year, all year I maintain like eight, eight to 9% body fat and 
that's and I'm at 7%. around that one 175. Okay. So anyway, guys, we just want to kind of really bang into your head. I don't think we do this enough, but muscle, muscle, muscle. And that's why I came out with this Live Lean Mass 2.0 program. So if you're on my previous Live Lean Mass program, this one blows that one out of the water. 42 days, brand new workouts, every single workout. You're never gonna repeat the same workout. Different kind of training style, so it's always changing. So if you've done my Live Lean Afterburn program, it's Similar in a sense that everything changes. It always changes. So you're never never going to get bored with it. We use different muscle techniques, different um, stimulus to train the muscle. So different mechanics to build the muscle, to tear it down, different uh, tempos. It's just, it's a freaking awesome program. Right. And so I wanted to jump on this YouTube to share that with you guys. And the other thing is if you get the program... Uh, before, what is it, 11.59 p.m. Eastern tonight, tonight yeah. you're going to get this all gains, no chub, no chubbiness cookbook. Yeah, so someone just asked if you focus on macros in this. Yes, you guys, well, there is a whole, yeah, like, there's a everything's new, provided. There's a, a new cookbook. There's a nutrition plan, and yeah. then this is what you're going to get if you get it before 11.59 p.m. tonight. It's the, cook, it's the cookbook. So this is going to be gone after a while. <laughs> Um, so I've been through this program. If you guys want to know, like, is this appropriate for women? Yes, absolutely. Obviously you're not going to be lifting as heavy of weights as your guy, but, um, you know, it's all relative to your strength and your starting point and where you're at. But I highly recommend this, especially for women, not just also for women, but especially women should be focusing on gaining that lean muscle mass because that is what's going to change your physique permanently. So I'm just showing you guys the insides. This is the workout logs you put on your phone. You take it to the gym. If you don't know how to do an exercise, you simply click, and it opens up the YouTube to show you the exercise demo. I can't see if I'm clicking on it or not. There. Oh, you just so it yeah. takes you into YouTube. So everything is done for you. Just follow along. Um, I'm super pumped with the program, guys. That's why I'm so passionate about it, because I know it's going to get you guys results. We just got to get you to take action. And following this program is kind of like hiring Brad to be your personal trainer. Yeah. So, you know, he's telling you exactly what exercises to do, how many reps you should do, um, how many sets, and what you should eat, and everything. So if you want Brad to tell you what to do, this is your chance. You pick up this program, you follow along, and it's as if you're going through it with Brad as your coach. Yep. So... LiveLeanMass.com. Go get it for tonight. Get the cookbook with it. And um, guys, come along for the journey. Yeah, absolutely. So let's answer some of the questions. To lose, oh, we just missed that question. There's been oh, I think it was to, foc to lose fat, should you focus on strength or cardio? Oh, was that the question? Yeah. Say it again. What was it? To, in order to lose fat, guys, tell me if I missed that one. But I think it was, which should you focus more on strength or more on cardio to lose fat? I well, think that was a girl that was. Well, muscle is what's going to keep the fat off because when you have more muscle, you burn more fat even while you're asleep. So that's what we've been saying. It increases your metabolism. So if you don't have as much muscle or if you don't have any muscle, your metabolism is going to be way down here. So you have to keep doing cardio to burn more fat where if you just add a little bit more muscle, you could be burning more fat by just standing here. And I have to tell you guys, I've done it the wrong way. Like in the past, when I first started fitness, I thought it was all cardio because I thought that all I needed was to lose fat because I could pinch a little bit here and a little bit there. And I was like, oh, I guess I need to lose fat. Never considered the fact that I may need to gain lean muscle. So all I focused on was cardio, low calorie dieting, and it was a nightmare. I felt strung out, uh, my hormones were all wacky, lost my period, everything was bad. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, hopefully I can be the living testament that doing it this way is the better way, the right way, the more sustainable way, the way that's gonna make you feel like a real human being and not all strung out and frazzled. So do focus on strength training, even if your goal is to lose fat, because you're gonna lose fat as you gain more lean muscle, like Brad just said. Exactly. So guys, I know we've been missing some of the questions. I know, in. there's so many questions yeah. and they're moving fast and we can't get them all. So we're gonna stay on for like another minute and then we'll, so is running better or walking fast and losing weight? So guys, once again. Running like, or walking fast? You wanna lose fat, build muscle, but. You need to change your body composition, yeah, you guys. But to answer it, do sprints instead of running continuously, so. Yes. Thanks, guys. Very nice. Okay, uh, you guys. Oh, That's these it. questions are coming too fast. Much love to baby Kyla. Thank you. Uh, She's napping right now. Hit. hit. Yes. Hit Aaron, training is awesome right. for fat loss, hit but it's still you need to be stronger, you know, in order to change your body composition. Yeah. So hit is just one of the tools in the tool shed. Mm -hmm. Building it's just a part of your workout program, not the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. So we got 15 seconds. So if you got any more questions, pop them up. 
Um, thanks for the inspiration. You are awesome. very welcome. Thank you for watching. Guys, Live Lean Mass, get it before end tonight so you get that cook, cookbook too um, because muscle key or um, eating right is key eating to, right to building is key. muscle. Yeah. So and don't worry, you will not bulk up. You're not going to blow up, look like the Michelin man. I've done it. I'm still lean. I don't feel bulky in any way. It is not going to bulky women up. Yeah. How do you control stress eating? I would say follow a meal plan so you actually know what your next meal is instead of just winging it and getting so hungry that you start eating out of control. So if you were to use like the meal plan in um, Lively Mass, you would know exactly what your meals are gonna be for the day ahead of time so that you could do your grocery shopping, prep in bulk, and then have your meals ready to go. And that's gonna help keep you unstressed so you don't stress eat. Um, yes, you, you guys, guys are welcome, no Good problem. looking meals. Oh, yes, yes. Say yeah. it again, sister, yes. <laughs> I used to stress eat too, you guys, because like I said, when I was doing all cardio and like low dieting, I would just get frazzled and all stressed out and then I would just eat everything. So it was this constant cycle of like phases of binging, just eating whatever I want out of frustration and then getting back on the wagon again. So if that sounds familiar to you, it's time to make a change. Start eating like the program says and training like the program says and it'll be amazing yeah the okay guys be good. thank you for tuning in with us yep. we love you so much we just we just are so passionate to get you guys the results that you deserve yeah. so join us on this journey and we'll see you on the other side thanks guys Bye. keep living lean